Greetings to you. Welcome into your tarot card messages. Cancer love tarot messages. Daily tarot messages of love for you, beautiful soul. Let us pick up what the cards are saying in the energy. All right, we have the hermit on the bottom of the deck. Right now I'm hearing black sheep. You have a story to tell or a story that is untold. You've probably been hidden or hiding yourself away in hermit mode. But I am getting an energy where you're about to be discovered cancer or you're about to come out of your shell you're about to be chosen someone is someone sees something i hear relevant kind in you someone sees a blessing in you someone sees sincerity genuineness realness someone sees you you may be down or you must you must have been down hermit for this person to come and want to take your hand and take you out into the light into the light in some way shape or form we have this karmic devil energy here so so there's someone wanting to trespass on your energy six of swords um they they're like they're, someone is going to try to do something um like tell you that like someone is going to try to convince you that you should go do something for example let's say a mother shows up to her son's apartment and is trying to convince her son that he needs to go get help and she's like yes man yes you need to come you need to come you need to get help but it's the energy where i i as the viewer don't necessarily trust this mother figure that's talking to her son so let's say the son has been like in in his apartment for a long time but he's been going through something you know what i'm saying but i don't trust this feminine energy that's trying to come to him yes yeah, so the ace of swords truth okay you're also getting your visions back and your dreams back, your money back, your inheritances. Right, this is your love reading for the day. So, Your first card is Ten of Swords. That's what I'm talking. Someone is going through depression. I hear liabilities. People may be lying on you, trying to slaughter you, frame you. Someone's been going through a lot. That's the Ten of Swords energy. It's not a good look. Someone really was lying on you. The tennis swords pairing that with the hermit. I feel like you were trying to defend yourself, speak up for yourself. You were going through this um, a lot on your own, right? Sadness, the um, cloudiness. Um, and then this person wanted to come around to convince you that you should go get some help. But I honestly don't trust this person. I don't trust them. I don't trust this person. I just don't trust their motives. I don't trust their intentions right now. This person, they're acting like they know what's best for you. They know better for you. A part of me is also wanting to say, this person is the one that's been tr trying to get you down, to make you feel weak. And they're doing it from a distance. So when they came to this apartment, this so let's say when this mother figure came to this son's apartment, she was for sure sure that he would be completely ten of swords energy. So, but somehow you are somehow conscious and you are defiant and you're reluctant and you're telling this person like, no, you're still speaking up for yourself. So this person, they did not necessarily expect that. This is a person that they, they grungle, gruntle. I'm wanting you to imagine now this feminine mother energy. She's the leader of a a group, you know, like, um, what's his name? Al Capacino. Al Pacino. She's the leader of a group like that. And she's Oriental or something, native or something like that. Or she speaks French or she speaks some languages. All right. Or she's a spiritual leader. She's the one that is trying to move toward you. All right. So she has, she has means to gets people to do things by twisting their arm and she has people working with her she has um little soldiers or bodyguards or so that comes with her to talk to you you could be like the one the black sheep you are for sure the black sheep energy and you don't necessarily agree with the ways of this person mm -mm. But they're trying to, you're going to get vindicated, you know. They're trying to come in discreetly in the hermit energy. And they're pretending to other people like they care about you. Nine of Swords. They, uh, they're pretending like they care about you. They're talking like they only want what is best for you. And they're concerned about you. Some of you may still be thinking you can't believe that this is still happening. Or you won't believe that this is the truth. Because someone was trying to get you. Let's say this is... um. 
for example, a, a mother figure, she wants her daughter to get married to someone who she already been t promising this person to her daughter, um, her, you know, her daughter to whatever. She's been promising this person like, yes, man, I'm going to get her to come. I'm going to get her to marry you. I'm going to get her to do. I'm not going to disappoint you. She's going to come. But she really has no real emotional connection to her daughter. You know what I'm saying? And this daughter, she's locked up in her room and she doesn't really want to go out there. Hermit mode and ten of swords. Um, but this person, they're trying, to, they're trying to force you to do something. Either to go with another person or to go get help or something. But they, you, you, you are, it's like pride and prejudice energy. Someone, someone, someone is trying to get you entangled with you're not interested in. But another person is trying to get you to give up yourself. To, to um, like someone close to you, a handler vibration that you're not interested in. Someone wants to take your hand in marriage, hermit. But this person, I don't know why, there's something about them. Alright, Capricorn, Leo. There's something about them. They have no king of wands energy they are in. Like They have no boundaries, they, no knowledge of self, no awareness, no discipline. This And the person that's trying to set you up with this person is doing it for money. You see the abundance card and the ring energy. They're doing it for payouts and money and they don't care about you either. They don't care that you're going to end up with this person. Something about bastard. All right. That they don't care about the youth, that you're, the offsprings that would come, how they would be affected. They don't care. Someone is, they don't care if you go, if, they, if you're thrown in with the lions. That's the energy. Right. So you have to know yourself. All right. Yeah, it's all about the money and the person that is trying to get to be with you knows that the person that is going to betray you with the hermit card is in it for the money for much pieces of silver and these people know the whole story i think they don't know the story about betraying people and selling people out for silver they know the whole story cancer but they don't care they they they, they are the living proof of it beginning to rain that ten of swords energy yeah cloudy days and stuff like that I'm going to break and come right back. I love you. Okay. I feel like people been lying. Lying about you. Up and down. And it is because you you supposed to inherit. Or someone wanted to marry you. But someone was take Look, the snake. You look at You see how that happened? <clears throat> Behind this, there was a snake. And karmic family members and friends and people. Behind a proposal or behind an inheritance that a dream come true that you're supposed to be um, basking in. Let's see what your next card is. Yeah, some family members, they lied on you and they wanted to... They took your blessings and they laughed at it. They laughed. They celebrated in what? In, in receiving your flowers. I hear comely. Star card. Something belongs to you. Your destiny, your dreams, your blessings, your love. Your man, someone tamed your man. So it's like someone put a spell on him and tamed him and they're grooming him and they're using him. Your man or your woman, I'm telling you, that's the truth. Emperor, your man, a man, a masculine energy. And they're, they're, they're just, they want to tell you that they took him. You can't do nothing about it. Because they know he's underneath a spell. He's not gonna, they know, they're saying that he's not gonna choose you. Even when he sees you, he will deny you. You hear that? You are the one, you know, you are the prize. You are the royal. You are the it thing. But this person, either they have them bound because of some black framing, like they're framing this person or they know they, they don't want to expose this person or something like that. But they're taking your person and keeping them docile, weak spirit, intoxicated, sleepy under a spell. So you're trying to tell, you're try, even you trying to talk to your person and they can't talk to you because someone else have them. This queen of wands, and this is like a frenemy. frenemy. I hear you're a justice. This could be a Libra, an, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, fire signs. And this person, they thought this is a karmic energy that they're trying to pull off because they want what you want or they want what you have. This is someone trying to take from you. 
So some of you going through depression, you're about to get regain your power. The rain will fall for you to restore you. This person cannot take your power and get away with it. Or your man, or your your money, your house, your things, your family, your seed, your inheritance, your fertility, your virility. They cannot know powers greater than love. No weapons formed against you shall prosper. I'm telling you that this person's been going around and lying on you. Because they're trying to steal from you and laugh at you. The energy of laughter is very uh, strong too. They wanted to sabotage you and laugh at you. Look, ten of wands and leave you struggling out in the cold. And then to look at her. Look at her. And st like trying to stand up with your man. Let the genders apply for you, masculine, feminine. Your home, your life. And then look, watch you be, this is like, watch you be single and struggling while standing with your person. And your person is not even giving them strength because your person is docile. They've become weak. They, they're not a man or a woman anymore. So this, and this, so this person that's trying to watch you struggle there and laugh at you, they're still, they're so obsessed with you. This was like revenge, I'm telling you. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups in the reversal energy. Someone, this person, they think that they are winning. This person, want, they wanted to betray you. Marry your person. Take your life and think that they are winning. That your person never chose you because they were always jealous of you, competing with you. And they didn't particularly, especially dig you. They were always jealous of you. How you always get the attention and you always get the love. This person, they've been their karmic and they've been doing spells. Four of Swords. But their time is coming. Two of Cups. You see? You're going to find love again. Believe me. Ace of Swords. You're going to be winning. Your dreams are coming true. And I'm feeling like this person is mad. Eight of Wands. They're so upset. They're so mad. They're, they're stirring. They're fuming. They're fuming that even though they took from you, you still have and you still have what you want or what is right. And now they're haggard because they're stuck with a docile, a docile man or woman that is underneath a spell that they they had to put a spell on to love to so-called love them and not love you. And they look at you and you're still thrilling and loving yourself and love finding you, people admiring you, people arts eyes full of hearts over you. This person, they're feeling that you are winning. You're still winning. Someone is upset that you're still winning. After all they try to tell, send that to you. All they try to do. Someone is upset. You're, I feel like you're so mesmerizing too. Someone is upset that you know yourself. You're not under the spells. You're, you're waking up. You know who you are. They, they're like, I'm, I thought I sent all these things at her. Why is she still up? Why is she still out? Why is she still rising? Why is she still talking? Alright, the sad truth. The sad truth for some of you is that uh, a mother energy was your greatest nemesis. Okay? Knight of Swords. Or some a feminine energy or someone that you, you loved, you cared about. It's like, like they compare themselves to you like who is the fairest. They want to be the fairest. Someone is just feeling like you took their fairness from them. You know, you make their fairness less attractive. So they, I'm telling you that they went to work with someone else against you. And this person that they got to work with them never really wanted to. But they're holding this person to something. Like they're saying they know something about this person. Right? Okay, yeah, so let's see. But you find love. So let's see. Look at this love that you find and this happiness, regardless of them. Yeah, you are like a lot of people wanting to be with you. A lot of people not like a lot of people see you as interesting, attractive, you know, mesmerizing, beautiful. Like this person tried so many things, and when they look, people still want to come your way. People still want to love you, compliment you, admire you. That's it's like a going to, it's like watching a college movie. And you have your booth set up. This person they have their booth set up. 
and this person now they try to betray your booth or sabotage your booth sabotage your race sabotage your life sabotage your love sabotage your pathway and then when they look you're still over there happily serving your customers and like making sales and people are talking with you nicely cheerfully it's just a good energy and all they can do over their booth is watch you fuming not that they're not getting any sales or interest in it, but there's the, the attention that this person is giving to you. It's it's as if nothing is going on for them. So they're just really always comparing themselves to you. And trying to talk against you. Ace of Diamonds, I'm telling you, it returns. What is yours come back to you like 10 hundred folds abundance. Your, your promises, your love, your dreams, your vision, your person. What is yours is meant to be yours. This someone is realizing that they can this person is realizing they cannot stop it. They cannot stop your inheritance. They can't stop your marriage. They can't stop your good fortune. They can't stop your money. They can't stop the health. But you know, if this person comes with an offer, be mindful of it. Because it could be tainted. This hypocrite person that wanted to betray you, watch the death card. Justice and jewelry. This is something like something is over for someone and they're afraid of it. So they're afraid that they're going to be exposed or be revealed or be left alone. So imagine this woman that had your man under a spell so that he could be with her. Imagine your man is waking up and she knows that she's about to get left because he didn't really love her for true. Imagine this person cleaned their energy up. Imagine this person arrives to the truth and is telling this woman no. Listen. I'm not be I don't wanna, I'm not gonna be with you anymore. I'm not gonna stay suppressed anymore. I'm not this anymore, that anymore. And she's scared. She's someone is feeling powerless. Page of Swords. And because of that they wanna blame you for getting left. But it's it's like it's a weak attempt also. This person if they try they're gonna fall over is the energy. It's, they need to pay attention to themselves. Make sure that they're grounded and stable, and healthy and wealthy and firm. But let me let me pull back. Let me pull back, magician. Let me pull back a little bit. But I know yours is coming, and I'm telling. Look, it's coming even more and more, more prizes, and a lot of truth is coming out about your exes and who they were with. The things that they did behind your back. Probably even with your friends. Seven of Swords in Rivers. They had no boundaries. They were. This is what they delighted in. And then these people also. They were doing magic. It's like they were doing. They were involved together closely. You know what I'm saying. Like sleeping. With like. An, it's like imagine a whole heap of snakes. Just sleeping together. Crawling all over each other. That's what they were doing. And then they were also doing magic. They were for real. And they delighted in this in this kind of energy. And they wanted to suck you into it. And they tried to groom you and make you their target. So they went after your man. They went after your man. They went after everything. They went after your fertility, your money, your mind, your crown. And they thought it was funny. They're little witches. They're little witches, okay? They're like, that's what they do. I want you to imagine that's what they do. Okay, let's move on. But you're winning. The Wheel of Fortune. They never expected you to be so blessed, so fertile, so rich. Look, the Wheel of Fortune again. So blessed, so fortunate, so abundant, so lucky, so prosperous, so healthy. Like they expected your world to be dark. They never expected the good spirits to fly around you to find. They thought that they buried you and but they didn't. That's what I'm saying. It's like they didn't expect there would be life where they left you. Any form of life or connection to spirit or divinity. But lo and behold, butterflies fly there too. And birds and spirits and guides and you found treasures in this place where they left you sudden in depression. You started to write, to journal, to attract good people from inside out. This is unbelievable to these people, to these ones that you are winning. Remember we have the ten of swords there. And your dreams coming true. It's so unbelievable because they had you in eight of swords energy. Trapped mentally, that's what they thought. Under some hypnosis and spells and believing their lies 
telling you you are not worthy you are not this but then you come out to say i am worthy i am beautiful i am rich i am inheriting i am getting married this is my money it's like you started to declare over your own self and they wonder where you get that strength from, these witches. And these witches are not just feminine, they are masculine too. And they like to do they like to snake, crawl, sleep all over one another. They did not they, they did not want to get exposed. And they were pretending. They were pretending to be angels. They get up and put on but their uniforms. It's uh, the but this is who they really are. The page of wands. After they're done wriggling and riling up together. And planning and talking and all kind of things that they don't they're doing. They come out into the world and they mess up your energy with it. And when they hear someone talking good things, they get jealous and upset and angry because they're not loving of themselves. So they don't like good news or good information, even from a random stranger that may be saying something random. Because these people, they may have like businesses and then you walk into one of their stores. Right? And yes, it's something good. They don't like it. Right, they, so I'm telling you, you you were among those people. That's who you were dealing with, the world card and the two of diamonds in reverse. You thought one of them was like your twin flame, because this person they were trying to copy you, study you, so that they can get you at, attached to them because they heard you speak something or do something that they wanted. They wanted you mixed up and mingled up and they wanted your energy. That's why they're so low life and so sad and so broken and they have to go rile up with each other and curl up around each other. This snake form ritualistic thing that they do because they load their own energies, right? And they saw something good in you, but when you mixed up with them, it drained your energies, lay with dogs, they catch fleas. Look, five of wands in reverse. And then you pull yourself up and there's someone wanting to keep you tied down with money and promises about money and homes and this and that. And they got your family involved. Okay. But then you rose up and you brush them off and you come back alive. You never thought that you could be saved or delivered. And you see, because you did it, you came out and you restore yourself. It makes them feel bad because they are not disciplined enough. They're not, they feel like they're not pure enough, rich enough. To clean themselves up. They probably don't even want to. So then though they start to want to target you. Because you lift it up. Now they feel like oh you're better than us. When you didn't even ask to be a part of them. In the first place. They tricked you. They tricked, it. They tricked you. Wheel of fortune. Anyhow. Now that they see you moving on into a blessed connection. In a healthy connection with love. With someone like you. They're so sad. Someone is really so sad. They're really so sad because they gave up themselves for karmic energies, for, for battering and all kind of things. And they, they wanted to accept that. they were, Oh, these people are doing such nastiness. You hear them come and tell you, it's okay, it's called brata. It's okay because they're entertaining all kinds of foolishness now. Their stomach sick with their whole lifestyle. And then when they look at you, you look risen. And you were probably a part of them at, in the first. You were probably somehow mingled with them. And then, but you found yourself. Nine of diamonds. Nine of diamonds up in this. Look how much wealth is surrounding you. You're, like, I'm telling you, grace and wealth and richness and prosperity and health surrounds you. Because Mosa has decided to bless you in front of them. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you say, I shall fear no evil. No weapons formed against me shall prosper. Right? A table prepared before me in the presence of my enemies because you are doing the right thing and most I want to show you up, reward you for believing in yourself, believing in your love, in your investments, in your mind, in your healthy state. Yo, youth, you are all about to be so blessed in front of those who never decided to be changed or to be different or to love themselves or to be disciplined. They're going to see that you chose right because most is about to bless you. Your rewards are coming in beautifully. And this is your love reading. But I'm just seeing a lot of money, health, wealth, prosperity. It's a good thing you waited your turn. You were disciplined. You know one of these flip clips that we see on the internet where the parent tells the youth, don't eat the candy until I come back, okay? Right? You are the, you are the one that listens 
You're the one that's like, I'm not going to eat the candy. Because mommy says, I'm going to get more if I wait. You are that person. And you get, you're, you're, when your parent come and say, oh my God, my baby is so disciplined. They will give you the whole bag of candy and take it to the supermarket and buy even more and more for you. So you're getting your blessings in front of those who didn't have the patience to, patience to wait or to see themselves or to love themselves or to just have fun, to listen, to adhere, to know their worth. I'm telling you, some, and there's a, like a, there's a mate out here for you as well, like real, real love. This is like watching the evil stepsisters seeing you find real love after, after them feeling like they were the hot things and they were the big shots. And they were the hot girls and the this and the that. And then they, they are all watching you now, who was a minimalistic liver all along, who loved yourself. They're watching you be taken in love, in real love. They can't stop looking at you. They cannot stop watching you in love with your person. And they still want to get miserable and group up and talk against you. But most are saying, like, have no fear because most are going to continue. You're going to get married. They're going to watch you in your wedding dress. They're going to see you on your big day. And they're going to see you heal the world. They're going to see you healing, leveling up, ascending, transcending, taking over, being taken over, being in love. And you're probably going to move out of their, their vibration, away from them. And these sellout people, we call them, people that betray you. Some of them are glad to see you be free and move on, especially this ex of yours that just did not want to really do it, but still, you know, worked with them against you. This one is happy to see you move forward, break free, right? This one, the one that they were controlling. And some of them are watching you break free, move forward, that they didn't want you to go, but they can't do anything about it. Right? You are meant to be in a high love connection because that's the energy that you live, you give. You see, you are in your heart space. You are balanced. And they wanted to give you chaos and turmoil. And there's this man or woman for you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Then a dime is like love at first sight. It's everything. This love connection is everything. It's like it's been written in the stars. Your ancestors held it and preserved it both for you and all kind of things. It's such a wealthy connection. Prosperity, fertility. Oh my God, it's so abundant and it keeps getting better and better. Just discard. Now you could be dealing with a Libra. You could be dealing with Sagittarius, Earth signs, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, and some water signs energy. And I'm telling you that the person that was sending evil eye out on you, they're now sad and going through a lot. And they have to like literally work on their energy to heal. And that's not really your problem. That's between them and the universe, them and themselves, them and the most high. So take care of yourself today. Love yourself. Like, look at all this justice and wealth and beautiful energies that's for you. It's so amazing. And I'm feeling like someone cannot lie on you anymore or project on you or send negative thoughts in your mind anymore because they are learning to take responsibility for themselves. They're getting a little, yeah, they're getting the Ten of Swords again. They're getting a little talking to from Most High. They're get, maybe going through karma. Okay? Yeah, the Seven of Wands. Someone may be doing to this person what they've been trying to do to you now. So this is that's justice. Most I saying all these good things that's happening for you is your good justice. I'm telling you, like your table laid, your archangels present. And this lover coming in for you, this person. This is the one, your angel, your your person is here. And this is a person that you will love. You've been waiting for this. We're gonna move forward. I'll see you in the next one, beautiful souls. Thanks for watching. Get some rest, eat well, make some money. Love yourself, banish negative energies, protect yourself, keep following your heart space, watch your energy inside out, watch your utilities too, your Wi-Fi, your lights, your electricity, your energy coming back to you, like even if they were doing beauty spells on you to like make you less attractive, to weaken you, all of that is being healed. It's like you're waking up, you're getting life again, you're remembering yourself again. Alright, I could keep going, but...
it's just amazing where we're at where you are at in your life just a whole lot of money coming in just for your stability just for you to be proven well you know in the midst of those that because i'm getting in the midst of those that really thought that you would have just suffered or something like this god is doing this on purpose just to show that you're great you're gifted you're blessed you're abundant you're fertile you're rich you're lovable you're worthy you're on the right side your dreams are coming true you're making the right decision this person is coming back to choose you and someone cannot stop it all right love you all is well all is within you beautiful soul like share comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next one take care toodles